Thanks, Oliver. Take a break, get some coffee. You just you gotta look away and then you gotta come back. Okay, I want you to go ahead of me, not behind me, because this truck is big and hard to see around. Kelly is driving the truck so that I can film because she says Hi. she doesn't like to film. She doesn't like to run the camera. So we did this last year. I'll put the video up here. It was a huge comic relief to cut down our one of a cedar tree for our Christmas tree. Uh, there was like one, maybe two people that said that they were very offended that we cut down a cedar tree. And if you say that you're offended by us cutting down a cedar tree. Oh, it's a deer. I bet. <gasps> Baby, you, where are you going, honey? Oh, I thought this no. was the way. No. Which way do I go? You're going to go that way up there. Oh. So, Kelly just saw a deer, so that's good and then news. I tried to chase it through the woods. Yeah, you're right, going to have to fit through there. Yeah. Can you do it? What you've done with the lawnmower, I have to fit through. Well, I can get out and I can trim. I have the thing uh, and I can that trim. That might be a good idea. All yeah, right. Why don't you just... Okay, so Kelly has to fit through here, so I have to trim some stuff up. Okay, so this will be the second year that we have done this. We don't know if we're going to do it next year, but this is a lot of fun to do this. Okay, let's find... Oh, there's the tree. Good. There it is. So here's our little tree. Like, did any of the things grow that when we cut? Too low. Yeah, I think that's better now. Um, yeah. No snakes. What do you mean? Which direction is it going to fall in? Yeah. Well, it's probably not going to, like, fall. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it. Just going to tip. Okay, ready? Kelly wants to cut some stuff. She's a professional chainsaw. Mother. She's a mother cutter. <laughs> it's cool to have Kelly wanting to do some work. It's fun. Usually she's doing our business and then also homeschooling the kids. She has a busy, busy job for everything that she does, but having a little a little rest time to where we can come out and do some fun work out here. And it's just really cool with what Pete gave us. This gives us a lot of confidence that we don't have to rush it, that we can do a lot of these easy things now that we don't have to rush doing the swells, that we really can do some land management. So that's not this, what this video is, but just because we did the, the, the tree for our Christmas tree, that she was like, hey, uh, we have the chainsaw back here, let's go ahead and cut some stuff. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Uh, having fun. You can't get in. Are you hitting all the buttons? Nope. All right, so we were back and we were about to, as soon as Kelly, Kelly's back. I broke it. You broke what? The thing. How did you break it? I sawed sideways and I know you're not supposed to do that. You I should have used chainsaw. the loppers. It's fixable. It is fixable. But it's it's very dirty. It's very fine. Okay, you want to do the tree?
Okay, so everybody's giving this idea a bad rap, but I was watching this documentary that I think that we would want to watch, talking to my family. Historically, since like the beginning of decorating trees for Christmas, that most Christmas trees looked like ours last year and what ours is about to be this year. They didn't have Lowe's and Home Depot trucking in Christmas trees. You just went and you found the best type of tree and it looked like not full on Charlie Brown, but here, I'll show you a clip of this. Let's trim this tree. Be straight. I do. I'm just saying, I just need it to be somewhat sturdy at the moment. Well, you need to get it in the right way. That's what she said. Okay. Hey, babe, here's your coffee cup. But with this tree, are you trying to. I think that's an accurate statement. If you're wondering why we're so thoughtful of this, <laughs> it was a disaster. It was not it. even a disaster. I... What happened? It looked better. So what did you do? <laughs> I told you. I said once you get down to how small we actually need this tree to be, it's gonna look so bare. <laughs> it's even worse up top. Step back, maybe. No. Maybe I need some perspective. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. There ain't nothing to measure. Did what we were working with. Yes, okay. And I've had many, many practices on haircuts between then and now. Study. <laughs> Circle, just walk around the tree and find your, cause we're, we're in a small space, we're in a corner. Nobody's gonna be walking around. It really is only like one quarter of the tree that it's is even exactly. visible. Exactly, so find that. Getting ready. Yes. Getting ready. Find your quarter and then focus on only that. Work on this side and this side first. This is how this is serious like, our situation this is. This is why people go to Home Depot. It's totally necessary. This was worth $75. <laughs> they sell them for that much. I don't think you know math, man. They're expensive. Trees are expensive. Are you happy? Are you Almost. satisfied? Not quite. Sorry I feel like that. you're looking for an answer I have not ready to give you. We're getting there. We're getting there. Did you just say make it so the Christmas tree doesn't look horrible? <gasps> Thanks, Oliver. <laughs> Take a break, get some coffee. You just you gotta look away and then you gotta come back. Look, Ella made a good, she can sell this to anthropology. It's a bundle of sticks. This is worth $75. Seriously? What? I think they were like 36. Bundle of sticks. You did it. No, I can't. That's... You're gonna be so rich. That's impossible! I'm slightly kidding. This is worth nothing. But somehow they were able to do that. Um, all I did is get some wood chips from our wood chip pile and I found um, this. It was from wow. um, our package of, 
of our our table and I and it was there on the ground. So I picked it up, I got some wood chips and then I tied it. And I kind of want to sell it. This bundle of wood chips I would sell for twenty nine dollars. For YouTube, I am willing to do it for nineteen dollars. So you heard it. If you would like to support Ella and her entrepreneurial little womanness, she's gonna sell this bundle of wood chips for nineteen dollars. Hurry up and email us. We don't. This is only a one, one, one-time bundle. Is if you want. Email us at bettertogetherlife at gmail.com. Christmas is my favorite time of year because you get to spend time with your family. Okay, go save that because I think someone might want to buy it. It's a $29 value, but for YouTube only, we have one limited edition, 19 bucks. If you want to come here, Aaron, you want this, it's you can have it. Well, plus shipping and handling, of course. Like, you know, that's gotta do that. <laughs> cool. I don't know if that's okay. I tell mom to come in. Is that the tree? Not really sure. Is that? Mm, we don't know. All right, now they're all selling wood bundles, so thanks. <laughs> all right, figure this one out. I don't know if I spun it the right way. Here, while Kelly does magic, I don't know about that. With this, it looked really good outside. Well, I told you, I was like, I think it's about this wide and it needs to be about this wide. Yeah. But this honestly is not too wide. We just need to figure out which part's facing the side. So let me look at the back. I said this girl needs some help. I think we will take down, put down the tree skirt and then trim it up. He's trying to do the stick. Yeah. So he can do are you practicing your sit? I'm looking from all angles. Someone will be sitting here. Kelly did a great job. Here is the reveal with the tree all decorated. Whoa! Everett, how does it make you feel? Feels great! What's your favorite time of year? 